please tell me about yourself good afternoon sir thank you for giving this opportunity to introduce myself my name is saujanya i am from mogaltur andhra pradesh i have done my graduation in the year of 2024 in the uh, sais institute of technology and engineering with cgp of 8.84 and i have built a strong foundation in uh, technical knowledge of uh, core java and i am good at uh, um, exception handling and oops concept and okay. i have a basic knowledge on javascript mm -hmm. and i want to build my career in the it industry How much you can rate yourself on uh, Core Java out of five? I will rate myself uh, for four point five, sir. Four point five, great. So tell me about uh, JVM architecture. Sir, JVM architecture means before going to JVM architecture, we have uh, JDK, JRE, JVM, JDK Java Development Kit. Um, in this, we have two things. That is uh, JDK plus uh, JRE plus development tools, and uh, JDK is the thing that uh, means. it is the environment which can execute and develop and uh, coming to jre jre means uh, it is uh, jre means java runtime envir environment this is for those who want to run the java programs in jre we have jvm plus library classes and coming to jvm jvm means java virtual machine it is the most important for uh, jdk and jre jdk and jre programs will run on jvm jvm is responsible for executing java programs line by line this is also known as interpreter mm -hmm. and in this jvm architecture we have a class loader and memory management and thirdly we have a execution engine coming to memory management we have five things that is method area heap area stack area and Uh, pc resistance and native stack area method area all level, all class level data is stored here uh, that means uh, in uh, instance data stored uh, st uh, static data stored here um, only one method area have in jvm and come into heap area all the instance data will store here uh, store here it is also shared resource um, and and coming to stack area stack area means all the Uh, main method uh, will run here. We want some area. Only uh, main method? No, sir. Uh, all the methods. Methods we we will run in the stack area. Okay. Stack area is important for running the program and coming to PC registers, counting the threads and generating the count of your thread. Thread we use PC register. Here PC registers means program counter. What is thread? A thread is a lightweight execution of a program uh, for example java.c in this we have compilation and execution compilation means uh, it is a it is running source code to byte code and execution means byte code to machine level code mm. um thread is a lightweight execution uh, in this we we have some area that is a stack area uh, okay so what is the difference between byte uh, what is that what is that like uh, you can say interpreter and jit compiler So, what is the difference between these two? Interpreter means it is a line by line execution, and JIT compiler means uh, for fast execution we go for a JIT compiler. Okay, okay. What is garbage collector? Yes, garbage collector means unwanted or unreferenced object. If you want to remove uh, remove an unwanted or unreferenced object and to free up the memory, we go for we go for the garbage collector. It is the one of the part for the JVM architecture. In the execution engine, we have a garbage collector. And why we go for a garbage collector in Java means to use the memory efficiently. Uh, to uh, improve the performance and uh, we we don't have unlimited memory in the uh, memory in java so if you want limit uh, if you uh, we have only limited memory to use the memory properly we go for garbage collector um, garbage collector means it is a automatic garbage collector um, we can go for manually or uh, automatic garbage collector is available so how can you ap approach that process? we can approach this garbage Collector using system dot gc system dot gc calls runtime dot get runtime uh, get runtime of uh, both both are same things uh, system dot gc override finalize method finalize method depends upon the deletions of the methods if you delete if you want to remove two unreferenced object two times finalize method will uh, will run very good what are the hoops concepts which you worked it sir uh, hoops concept means uh, at first oops means object oriented programming structure the way of writing the code in a proper way uh, we go for oops concept and caps in this we have four pillars encapsulation abstraction inheritance polymorphism here encapsulation means encapsulation achieves through class and methods um, class is a blueprint of an object 
object is an instance of a class class hello static memory object hello dynamic memory um, class is a plan or action or a design or a architecture um, and uh, coming to what is an encapsulation encapsulation means it is a binding or wrapping or bundling of the data with related related, related functionalities into a single unit this is known as encapsulation uh, encapsulation will be done through two one is data hiding and another is uh, abstraction data hiding means hiding the data abstraction means hiding the implementation we can how can you achieve abstraction we can achieve the abstraction using interface and abstract what is the difference between interface and abstract interface means in this interface we can use only public and abstract method uh, methods um, uh, in abstract classes we no need to use public and abstract and uh, we 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 no need to declare constructors in uh, interface we want to uh, declare the constructors in uh, uh, abstract and uh, um, we have static and final variables in our interface uh, in abstract classes no need of using final and static variables and uh, interface is a completely executed uh, it is a partial execution so what is functional interface and marker interface functional inter interface means is a, it is a single abstract method in functional interface the lambda functions are over overrated for functional interfaces functional interfaces is a sim single abstract method we use uh, default methods and static methods in functional interface whereas in marker interface no methods are uh, no, no methods are uh, needed can you tell some examples of functional interface uh, functional interfaces are predefined uh, functions we have in this predicate uh, supplier consumer what is comparable and comparator comparable com comparable is from java dot uh, util uh, lang package and it, uh, compa comparator means uh, comparator is from java dot uh, util package the comparable has compare to method comparator has compare method it is a single sorting it is multiple sorting if you want to have only employee id we go for single sorting single attributes if you want to go for uh, further uh, attributes like uh, employee name employee uh, location then we go for a comparator this is uh, this is needing for single attributes this uh, this is for uh, multiple attributes we go for comparator okay mm. so what is predicate in java predicate it is a conditional uh, we check for the condition we go okay. for predicate okay first of all what is predicate predicate is a which interface functional interface yeah, that is what I'm okay, okay sir. very good so so what is lambda expressions uh, lambda expressions means uh, it is a functional interface to mm -hmm. concise the code Very to uh, to concise the code to reduce the code in a proper way we go for the lambda expressions mm -hmm. okay so what is marker interface do you know about serialization so what about collections how much you can write on yourself on collections uh, 3.5 sir up to okay so tell me about collections like where we used and why we need to learn collections why we need collections mean to structure the data from a unstructured way we go for collection collection is a interface uh, collection holds both homogeneous and heterogeneous element uh, performance wise uh, uh, it is not better when compared with arrays and uh, memory memory wise collections are better to use and uh, uh, we have uh, um, in collections we have many interfaces like uh, uh, list set Q, DQ, and map. Map is a in, uh, interface, but not a child interface of. Uh, what collection. is the difference between uh, has set and linked has set? Has set, linked ha linked has set. Uh, before going to has set and linked has set, set set is a unordered collection. It is a child interface of a collection, and it doesn't uh, follow insertion order. It doesn't allow duplicates and null values are not so, allowed. Yeah, so you are good, Sojina. All the best. Thanks. Thank you.